Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powers. With few options left on the table, owners of the Gardunos restaurant chain took a desperate step this morning to save the 40-year-old franchise from closing its doors for good. News 13's David Romero is live in Northeast Albuquerque with more on this. David? Well, Mike, the decision to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy was not an easy one, especially since it's going to mean the loss of about 100 jobs. Now, with the reorganization under Chapter 11, three of Gardunio's Albuquerque locations will close. The two still open are at Windrock and Cottonwood Mall. Two others in Las Vegas, Nevada, will also stay in business. Troubles for the company began a couple of years ago when owner Dave Gardunio says a former employee embezzled $2 million from the company. The company also owes the state nearly $1 million in unpaid gross receipts receipts, taxes, and penalties. Gardunio hopes that through bankruptcy, it'll be the boost it needs to be successful again within a year. Our customers are supporting us, so we want to keep open for them and for our employees, and we're trying to hire back as many as we can as soon as we open up. And grow, as we grow on this thing, we want to hire as many employees back as we can. So that's the most difficult part um, of this entire process. Now, Gardunio's has closed two other locations prior to today. In 2008, it shut down its restaurant at the Sunport, and then last September, it closed its location at Balloon Fiesta Park. Mike, back to you. David, thank you very much. Gardunio's was evicted from that Fiesta location because it owed thousands of dollars in back rent to the city.